In a special way, I welcome you to today's class. We are having a question from Lovely. We have to evaluate this and leave in our answers in three significant figures. So to start with, we need to find the logarithm of this multiplied by three. So let's see what we got. So we start from the number we have the table and the log. Here, 3.87. So having 3.87, the characteristics of 3 is going to result to 0 because this is just one integer, and one minus one will result to zero. Or if you choose to move the decimal point to the left, you are going to start from zero, and it will result to zero points. Then we now check from the logarithmic table, 38 under seven. 38 under seven will result to five, eight, seven, seven. Then the next thing is, the raise to the power of 3. This is under the base of 10. It may stay raised to the power of 0 0.5877. We result to 3.87. Now, raise to the power of 3 will result to multiplication. We multiply it by 3. So when you multiply this by 3, we have multiplied by 3. So it gives us. 3 multiplied by 7, we have 21, you write 1, you carry the 2, we have 2, 3 multiplied by 7 again, we have 21, 21 plus that 2, it gives us 23, so we have 3 written, so we carry 2, so we have 3 multiplied by 8, we have 24, so 24 plus that 2, it gives us 26, so we write 6, you see how the 2 intact, then 3 multiplied by 5, we have 15, and 15 plus that 2 will give us 17. So we have 1, of course. So 3 multiplied by 0 will give us 7. Then 0 plus that 1, we have 1 on 7, 6, 3, 1. A, couple of, a lot of students will make mistakes by finding the logarithm of 20. But finding the logarithm of 20 to what end? Because by the time you find the logarithm of 20 to give you a particular value, are you now going to add the values together? No. Or are you going to say addition is going to become multiplication? That's equally no. What you are going to do in this case is you are to evaluate this without using calculator, but you can use the fourth dot table. The next thing is to return this value back to the way it was by finding the antelope. So you are removing the base 10 from it. You are removing 10 from base to return back to the normal form, the way it is as a number. So we need to find the antidote. The moment you have plus or minus, you approach it in that manner. So we are going to find the antidote of 1.7631. So I can decide to place it at this side, the antidote. So I have the antelope. This will allow me to add or subtract because it's no more under the base of 10. So what we are going to do here is to leave the, leave the uh, integer and work with the decimal fraction from the antelope table. We check 76 under 3 difference 1. So this is going to result to 5, 7, 9, 5. Now I will return to the integer. The integer there is giving me 1. So I'm going to start my count from 0, from the left to the right. So that's going to be 0, 1. So I have 87.95 as the antelope. So I will return this value back to the way it was. Even by punching your calculator secretly, just to verify. 3.87 raised to the power of 3 will give you 57.95. But with what we have done here so far, no one is going to identify if you have used calculator or not. So let's get back to this. But before we do so, for you to have stayed here till now, it means you are enjoying this video. Kindly click on the like button and click on the subscribe button if you are watching this for the very first time. Now let's get back to this. Upon finding the antelope of this, returning it to the way it was as a normal value. 
you are now free to add 20 to this. But while you are adding 20 to this, I've seen a lot of students making mistakes, not knowing the exact point or place to put the 20. I've seen students placing the 20 here, whereas it indicates 0 0.2. Instead, you are going to put the 2 and 0 here, like the 20, point zero zero. This is equivalent to 20. Unlike students placing the 20 here. Now, the next thing is to add them together because it's a normal form. So, adding them together will result to 5 plus 0, we have 5, we have 9 point, we have 7, and we also have 7. We are almost through with the numerator. Now, the next thing is to go down for the denominator. This is 3.87. Of course, we have already checked the logic of 3.87. So we also have 3.87 again. So without wasting time, we'll be having 0 0.5877 as the logic. And also, which is also raised to the power of uh, 3. So raising it to the power of 3 means multiply by 3, which we have done justice to already. So this is going to be 1, 3, C is 7.1. And because it is minus, just as we did for the numerator, we are going to return it to the normal form. You only do that whenever you are working with values that has an addition and subtraction, connecting the two figure values together. So here we are going to find the antelope again. And finding the antelope here is also easy because we have already done that already. So um, we have an anti log, so which should give us 57.95 because we already did that here. So we don't need to check the logarithm table again. So in this case, we have to remove 20 from it. So removing 20, which I've said earlier, you have to be careful where you place your values within the 20.00. And this time around is going to be different. So we have 5, we have 9, 7 minus 0, we have 7, and 5 minus 2 equals 10. Don't forget that all these values are in normal form. We now need to return them back to the logarithm value. Like it should be in 10 raised to power words to give us all these two values. So we come back to this side. We remove this. Because it's a normal number, it's just a number. So we take it back to this case, which will give us 77.95. 7 we find the logarithm of this because this is just the result of everything for the numerator without using calculator. So we are returning it back here. So we need to find the logarithm of this and also find the logarithm of the denominator. Then we carry out the division sign, which will become subtraction. So the logarithm of this, the characteristics in the first place, is going to be 1 or of course 0, 1. Or you count the number of integers, which are 2, 1, 2. So the 1 and 2, you remove 1 from it, it becomes 1. So 77 under 9 difference 5 will give us, 77 under 9 difference 5 will give us 8, 9, 1, 8. That's for the Numerator. Now let's go for the denominator. This is the value for the denominator, which is 37.95. The characteristics of this is also 1. Point. Now 37 under 9 difference 5. This will result to 1.5792. Having found the logarithm of the numerator and the denominator, the next thing is to find this or solve it, uh, the division sign given here. The division sign will result to subtraction. So we have minus here. So we have minus here. So we do that. So 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 will give us 6. We have 11 here. So 11 minus 9 will give us another, will give us 2. So this has become 8. 
So 8 minus 7, we have 1, and 8 minus 5 give us 3. Then point, we have 1 minus 1, which will give us 0. We have done justice to everything at the numerator, same thing for the denominator, and we have also removed the denominator from the numerator because of this division sign. Remember, we are still in 10 raised to the power of this. So we now need to return it to the normal form. So we find the antilog of this. So the antilog, antilog, we start from the decimal fraction. Don't make mistakes by mixing up how you check the logic to how you check antilog. So for antilog, we start from the decimal fraction. So 31 under 2, difference 6. So 31 under 2, difference 6, will give us 2, 0, 5, 4. Now, coming back to the integer, we have 0. So it's either you choose to add 1 to the integer, which will become 1. 0 plus 1 will have 1. So the decimal point will be after the very first digit. Or you just count from the right, from the left to the right, 0. We have 2.054. So leaving your answer to three significant figures as I have chosen is going to result to 2.05. Easy. Of course, you have truly enjoyed it for you to have stayed till this moment. So I'm leaving you with these two tasks. And um, let me give you the workflow to this. You find the logarithm of 1.487 raised to the power of 3 means you are going to multiply it by 3. But because of this minus, you will return it back to the way it was, to the normal form. You find the antelope of that value. Upon finding the antelope, you will remove 1 from it. Be careful where you place the 1 so that you will not confuse yourself in writing 0.001 instead of writing 1.000. You do the same thing for the denominator as you already have it here, but remember to add 1 to this in this case. So the next thing is to remove the denominator from the numerator and find the antelope. Easy. The second one here is just given also 0.36. You find the logarithm of that. Of course, the characteristics is going to be bar 1. Then you multiply it by 2. Upon doing that, you find the antelope. So when you find the antelope, you keep it at the left side again. You do the same thing here. We are finding the antelope because of this addition sign. You find the logarithm of this 2. So when you find the logarithm of this, you raise it to the power of 2 by multiplying it by 2. You find the antelope again. So once you find the antelope, you add the 2 together. When you add the two together, then you can now find the log again. again. So once you find the log again, then you divide it by two because of this square root. And once you divide it by two, you find the antelope. That makes the work easy. So till next time I see you, I will implore you to click on the subscribe button if you have not done so already, and share your answers at the comment section, and share this uh, video link with your friends and loved ones. Until next time I see you, stay blessed and be good.